Okay, this is April 15th, grade four math. Um, so the first question says four times 10. So it says on your slide, we can use base 10 blocks to solve. So let's use some base 10s. Four times 100 is the same thing as four groups of 100. So if I have four groups of 100, I can draw four groups. Here's one groups, here's two groups, here's three groups and here's four groups. Sorry, they're small. And it says four groups of or times 100. So I'm going to put one in each group. And now I'm going to count up my hundreds. I have 100, 200, 300, 400. So my final answer for this one, I'm going to go back and I'm going to add a text box I said was 400. Okay, now I'm going to clear this. And the next question is four times 200. So four times 200. So for four times 200, it's kind of the same idea. We can take um, we can take our groups and we have four groups again. One, two, three, four. And we can put 200 in each group. So I'm gonna grab 200 and put two 100 blocks in each group. So four times 200 is the same thing as four groups of 200. So now I'm gonna count up my totals because I have one, two, three, four groups and there's 200 blocks in each. So 100, 200, 300, 400, 500, 600, 700, 800. Um, and I also know that um, I can say that four times 200 is 800. So I'm gonna add another text box and write 800. Um, and I also know that four times 200 is the same thing as four times two hundreds. So I can also just do four times two is eight, then make sure I represent the place value of hundreds and add two zeros. So for the next one, I'm not gonna use base tens. We're gonna do this trick that we do sometimes in class and we're just gonna solve four times 300 by saying four times three. So let's skip, skip count by three, four times. So three, six, nine, 12. Okay, I know that's 12. And to represent hundreds in the place value, I add two hundreds. Um, so my final answer would be 1,200. I want you to try the last one by